Hi, Chris here. A queryable and enumerable are two standard link interfaces. First, a step-by-step -step overview to decide which option is better for us. For the best comparison, let's create an as.net core NT project on Visual Studio. Click Next and select any name. Open the program.cs file, type a enumerable of t. Let's go to the definition. A enumerable uses a enumerator, so it is suitable for iterating over collections. It's a read-only data collection, that is in the system that collections that generate namespace. On the other hand, we have a queryable of t. Let's open the definition. A queryable implements a enumerable, so it contains all the features provided by this link interface, but also contains additional features provided by a queryable to handle query expressions and is in the system that link namespace. To comprehend the next concepts, let's follow these simple steps. Connect this application with a, a SQL Server local database to fetch data from a person table that contains 1 billion rows and create a simple operations using enumerable and iquerable interfaces. The first step is to add a new class called person to represent the SQL Server table. Let's create an enumerable of person immediate execution i will explain in a few seconds why this name in the same way for a credible of person called deferred execution the second step is to install an entity framework package at entity framework core that sql server let's click install so the third step is to add the adb contents class to create the expected connection with the, the local sql server database let's add a constructor let's and from DB contents as the contents options, they will contain the connection strings and pass it to the base constructor and add a new property called a DB set type person. Name this field people. So in the program that CS add a new variable called options to pass the respected connection strings. So let me add a new DB contents builder type SQL server DB contents use SQL server pass the respective connection string and options. I will uh, create the new DB set in a new instance of the SQL server as in the options that set the type person. Now let's set the enumerable person to the DB set in both interfaces and create a simple query immediate execution. I will use uh, the work clause and filter the data from gender equal to male and email that contain from copy the same work clause and apply to the equitable interface as we can see here link queries based on the enumerable interface use delegate or lambda functions to filter data in this case i use a lambda expression instead i queryable filter data by using expression trees note that the parameter pass is an expression it's time to analyze the queries generated by SQL Server. To do that, let's open Azure Data Studio and use a SQL Server Profiler as an extension to trace a SQL events, validate the 1 million rows on the table person. And here we go, we have 1 million rows. To trace events, press OP, select the standard on-prem session. It's running right now. So let's go to the program. Obtain the query results by using a to list or to array. In this case, I will use to list or a queryable as well. Run the application. Okay, I have a SQL exception. Uh, it's for the certificate to prevent this at in the connection stream and create false. And let's change the DB person name property as person that is the database name. Run again. Cool. Go to the SQL Server Profiler to see the queries. Uh, the first query is uh, for the enumerable interface that selects all the properties from the table person. So it fetches all the data uh, from the server and applies all filters in the client. In contrast, I queryable that is the second, applies all the filters in the server side and let the database provider in this case, Entity Framework Core to handle a query optimization. So here comes the concept of immediate execution. Enumerable queries are executed instantly when you define the query operation. Instead, a queryable queries are not executed instantly 
when you define them. They are executed when you enumerate the objects by using to list or to arrive methods or iterating over collections. It's also called lazy loading. Finally, to analyze the impact of a queryable and enumerable in an application, let's uh, build a simple test to measure the following properties client time, client memory, server CPU, and server duration. For client time, I will use stopwatch class to measure the last time. For the client memory, I will use the diagnostic tools in the SQL Server Profiler. I will measure the CPU and the duration. Let me divide the enumerable logic and iqueryable logic to different methods. Enumerable test and iqueryable test. So here I will start the watch, start here, store the time elapsed in this variable, in seconds, put a breadpoint. First of all, I will test enumerable results around. I will store the results in an Excel file. We have the total seconds. For enumerable, we have 2.23. And the memory consumption, which is a peak of 167 megabytes. Let's see the CPU and duration metrics in the profiler. So here we have uh, the CPU consumption and the duration. Now let's test a credible 2.68 seconds memory of 96 megabytes cpu consumption is greater and the duration in this simple test querying 1 million table rows from the person table enumerable tends to be faster than iqueryable because the server cpu consumption is lower but the memory usage is greater because enumerable performs in memory query operations. About duration, I will skip a conclusion because it's similar. In conclusion, enumerable is recommended for smaller datasets and for performing link operations in memory. Equitable is an excellent choice for handling, filtering, sorting, pagination, and projection operations when working with large datasets, leading to better query optimizations. If you like this content, don't forget to subscribe. May the code be with you.